What is going on guys, it's your boy Sly Jordy, and welcome to a video I've wanted to make for a while now and that is giving the crew 2 a second chance. The Crew Motor Fest is coming out in a few months, uh, supposedly, I'm pretty sure it's this year, so, um, and it's, it's a game that I'm honestly interested in, you know, which is really, really weird because The Crew 2 is a game that I really didn't like. I played it about three years ago, went out for free, um, for everybody, for a bit, I don't know how long it was, but it did go free, um, and I gave it a try, I gave it a try live, I'll leave that video in the description below, uh, I really, really didn't like it, and as someone who was a big, big fan of The Crew 1, yeah, it was just extra, extra disappointing, and I think at this point, The Crew is never, ever going to go back to that point, but at least The Crew Motor Fest, it, it seems to be more upfront about it, you know? It actually fits the thing, uh, it fits the, the title, you know, it fits what it, what it pushes out in the trailer, whereas The Crew 2, well, it has a 2 on the end, so you would assume it'd be a sequel to The Crew 1, in which it wasn't, it was more of a, I, I want to say soft reboot, but that really wasn't the case, because there are barely any references, I, as far as I know, there are no references to The Crew 1 in The Crew 2. Uh, so therefore it was literally just a reboot. They sh should have just called it The Crew or gave, given it a different subtitle or something, you know? The Crew 2 was really, um... <sighs> it, it was sort of a scam title. It was misleading. That's the word I was looking for. The Crew 2 as a title was very misleading. And, um... Yeah, I just didn't like it when I found out about that, of course. And I played it few years later, a couple years later, I think it came out in 2018, I played it in 2020, really didn't like it. Uh, but since Motorfest got announced, I've been meaning to give the Crew 2 a second chance. I have an hour's worth of footage uh, of the Crew 2 here, and you'll see some of that in this video. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to share my thoughts on it now that I have given it a second chance, because I've matured quite a lot so, since 2020. In 2020, when we originally played The Crew 2 on the channel, I was still sort of petty towards... I was still sort of butthurt towards the fact that the game existed in the way it does, and that it's it has barely anything in common with The Crew 1, besides the map and the name, obviously. Um, it felt more like a Forza game, if that makes any sense, which I like because we do need a Forza on anything that's not Xbox. Um, but the, the thing with the Crew 2 is that it was the <clears throat> the exact same map as um, the Crew 1. So it didn't really feel too different. And when I originally played the game, the map... Like, I think you guys know, before its next-gen update... I don't Was it a next-gen update or was it an update for every console? I don't know, but... It definitely got a graphics upgrade at some point, but if I remember rightly, when The Crew 2 did come out, it didn't look as good as The Crew 1. Um, correct me if I'm wrong there. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to give it a second chance, so um, the thing about The Crew 2 that is drastically different from any other racing game in this genre is that you can also drive planes and boats, which... For some people, might be incredible, but as someone who's not really that interested in planes, and especially boats, I just didn't really care about it. Uh, now, when I did give the crew to a second chance, I uh, warmed up towards the planes quite a bit, uh, because there's no other game that I play that has planes in it, except maybe War Thunder, but that's a, you know, that's a military shooter. Um, so, yeah, the planes are really cool. Uh, so they definitely grew on me, but the boats, they still haven't grown on me, I still don't like them, and I would rather not see them in the game. Another thing that I didn't like about the Crew 2 was, um, the lack of a story. Um, and excuse me if my voice keeps coming out a bit nasally, or I keep sniffing or whatever, I'm still ill, you know, uh, from my last video, I'm still ill. Uh, I'm getting a lot better though, so it's literally just affecting my voice at this point. Um, but yeah, where was I? Yeah, the story. I don't like any of the characters here at all. They're actually quite cringy. It, again, it's very comparable to Forza. They just don't stop talking, you know? 
it's not like the old Forzas where they could be somewhat likable like in the first three games. No, it's more like the last two where they're just, they're sort of incessant. Even in recent updates, it's like that, you know, the, the, the characters, you just don't care about them. Uh, the whole vibe and aesthetic of this game is just completely disconnected from anything entertaining, if I'm being quite honest, you know. I, I have very little to no motivation to really discover any mystery or continue a story in the crew too. I just, I don't care. I feel a lot of apathy towards this game. Uh, I'm going to give the crew Motorfest a proper chance, but if I don't like it, I'm going to make that very clear. Uh, but honestly, I heard rumours that even Ivory Tower weren't really happy with this game. Um, I don't know where I heard that from. It was definitely from some sort of YouTube video with an article. Um, I'll, if I can find it, I'll link it in the description below. It'll be the first link uh, if I can back that claim up. But apparently Ivory Tower just weren't happy with this game neither. And they're sort of treating the crew motorfest as what they wanted uh, to do, I, I suppose. Uh, I guess we'll see, because honestly, there's a lot of games to fall back on for me personally. I don't have Need for Speed Unbound yet, because the PlayStation I ain't got a PlayStation 5 just yet. But when I do, I'll be putting time into that. Test Drive Unlimited's getting a new bloody release this year, can you believe that? So, honestly, I'm not too fussed over the crew Motorfest being bad if it is. You know, I, I'd be wasting money, sure, but... I've got other things to fall back on this. F123 as well. I've just installed Grid Legends, so we'll be doing a Let's Play series on that at some point. I want to replay Dirt 5 when I get the PlayStation 5, because I really, really enjoyed Dirt 5. I actually own Cyberpunk 2077 now. I'm going to get to play that at some point. Uh, same with the Saints Row reboot. Uh, I'll buy that at some point after we're done with the Saints Row 4 review. Basically, I'm not too fussed if the Crew Motorfest is a bad game, but I'm I'm going to say this right now. If Motorfest, if it gives me the same sort of feelings as the Crew 2 did, which was dishonesty and disappointment and apathy, um, yeah, I think I'll be done with the Crew as a franchise, if I'm quite honest. But honestly, there are some really nice aspects to recent updates that I really like. They added this new racetrack that even has an underwater area. Um, I think Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2 all the way back in the day had like an underwater city area. I don't know. Was that the case? Wasn't it called oh, what, Aquatica? Was it Aquatica? It, there was a reference to it in Need for Speed Heat. The crew too basically added this new track right in the middle of the map uh, that is really really cool it goes up in the air stuff like that apparently there's these like formula one looking cars that go across it but all i know is there's an underwater area and it's really cool i want to see the crew motorfest go more into these fantasy type you know uh, elements where we do have under like a Mario Kart sort of thing, you know, where we do have these underwater stuff, or we race in the sky, you know, GTA Online has that. Um, I want to see the crew, Motorfest, and the crew as a whole just try to stand out, have its own identity, you know? It sort of had an ident- it did have an identity in the crew 1, and that's another problem that was with the crew- that I had with the crew 2, is that it just quite simply was a complete and utter chaotic mess. I once, yeah, it is a mess. It's it's tough to it it rivals Destiny 2 uh, with how convoluted the menus can be. I can't recommend the Crew 2 to a new player at this point. You know, I think there's just way too much information just thrown at you, and I hope they make it a little bit more concise in Motorfest. Again, we will have to see. Another thing is that the sound design for the Crew 2 is absolutely terrible. I'm not saying the Crew 1 was much better, um, but, I mean, the Crew 2 is a next-gen racer, whereas the Crew 1 was, was mostly made for the PS3 and the Xbox 360, and it was also, it just happened to be on PS4 and Xbox One as well, but there's no excuse for the Crew 2, especially, you know, when you are updating as regularly as you are to have some of the worst sound designs of any racing game in the industry. Compare the Crew 2 to Need for Speed Heat, for example. 
it's night and day. It's literally night and day. The crew two just sounds really muffled. It's so quiet. Even with the music off, the the engines just the exhausts, the cars just sound so muffled and quiet compared to you know its rivals in the industry. And I, I really hope Motorfest cures this issue because that was a big issue for me. I messed around with the settings quite a lot when I came back to the crew too to try and sort this out and I couldn't because yeah that's just the, the that's how it's designed the sound design is just terrible but yeah the crew 2 is very convoluted it has an identity crisis it, it it feels like it's trying to be this next festival racer and I saw this video from craptastic jack back when the crew motor fest uh, was announced and it's that we're just sick of these festival races. It's why Fours is not doing as well anymore, you know? It's still pretty popular, don't get me wrong. But it's sort of becoming a Need for Speed sort of popular where, yeah, we'll have these bright sparks here and there like heat. But then most of the games feel just really, like, they feel like they have an identity crisis, like Payback, like Most Wanted 2012. As much as I do love that game, I love Most Wanted 2012. Um, but... Yeah, there's that. Uh, Unbound feels like it doesn't really know what it wants to be, neither. That there's like these graffiti stuff all over the place, but then it's also in a in a really gritty city like Chicago. Lakeshore is basically Chicago. That just doesn't make sense to me. You know, Heat made sense to have all this colorful stuff because it was in Miami. But yeah, I don't know. The Crew Motor Fest needs to be the last festival racer because, like, honestly, we're just sick of them. At this point, it's why Forza's on a pretty rapid downhill trajectory. Dirt 5, um, I'll give that the benefit of the doubt because it was still a really fun game. But again, we're just sick of all these like festival type stuff. And I, I want to see, and I know Motorfest is mostly going to be that festival stuff. But I would like to see sort of a dark side to it, you know. Need for Speed Heat had that. It had the festival stuff in the day. And then, you know had all the police at night. I would love to see the police be in the crew. Uh, but we'll have to see. Um, but yeah. Um, I do like how the game looks. Uh, I'm on the PlayStation 4. Uh, so it does look great even on the PlayStation 4. Uh, so it definitely did have some sort of graphical upgrade. Um, I do like the ideas that they're starting to throw out there. Or they might have been doing it for a while. But... You know, the whole, that new track and the underwater part. I would love to see a lot more of that in Motorfest. Like, we need the game to stand out. Otherwise, it's just not going to last long to a lot of people. You know, um, obviously, the Crew 2 has its fan base. But that's mainly because of the constant updates it's getting. And I guess that's one thing to really look forward to with Motorfest. Is that it's, you know, it, it's going to be constantly updated. But... You know, it really doesn't matter if the game you're building on, the foundation that you're building on, is just boring and apathetic. Then, like, it, yeah, it really doesn't matter. And that's the thing with The Crew too. I have been hearing for years how good the live support is for The Crew. And that's really good. That's actually half the reason I'm so excited for Motorfest. You know, it's a new start, it seems to be. Um, maybe they've... In all this time since the Crew 2's release, maybe they've, you know, built a game that has a proper identity. Maybe has some really cool characters. I really, really hope so. Um, because if not, if it's just another Crew 2, then I'm just going to forget about it really quickly. And it doesn't matter how many times you update it. Um, because, like, it'd be dead to me, you know? A game can feel dead while still getting updated, you know? Uh, and the crew too is sort of like that to me. I just don't care. Um, I feel nothing but apathy towards the crew too, even now. Uh, well, it's worse now. My feelings towards this game are technically worse now because at least back then I was angry towards it. You know. Um, well, I don't know if you can call that worse in a video games context, but yeah, I just don't care about the game. Uh, it's took me a couple of months to get round to making this video. You know, like, I could have not gotten around to this until the next bloody game, uh, Motorfest. But yeah, I'm going to give Motorfest a proper chance, so be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're interested in that. Uh, I've got I've got a bunch of series on most Need for Speed games. 
Uh, I've got a few videos on the crew one. I never managed to play through the story of the crew one, but it's the 10 year anniversary next year and I'm mostly using a new account now. So, um, yeah, I think I will 100% uh, replay through the crew one next year. So, yeah, we're going to play Test Drive Unlimited this year, F123 next month, uh, and all the other games I mentioned earlier as well. Um, Car X Street, when that gets on console, and Need for Speed Unbound, obviously, and all future Need for Speeds. Anyway, that was me giving the crew to a second chance. That's basically the gist of all my thoughts. I could have gone more in depth, but honestly, I, I feel like I pretty much said everything I really would have wanted to say anyway, just in a more messy way like i'm doing this off the cuff i didn't write a script for this or anything like i am doing for the saints row 4 video um yeah i just i didn't want to put that sort of effort into a game that i feel mostly apathetic towards but yeah guys thank you all so much for watching i will probably never ever play the crew 2 again but uh i think we'll play the crew 1 just before motorfest comes out so that would be really cool to do i hope um hopefully i have fun with that I, I do like going back to the crew one here and there, and I have a fair amount of cars that I really do love um, that I own on that game. So, yeah. Anyway, that was the crew too. It's been your boy Sly Jordy, and I will see you all in the next video. Until next time, peace.